My husband still hasn't taken responsibility for the affair. He rolls his eyes when I suggest to get help. Ugh, I'm so sorry to hear this. So a lot of people are afraid of counseling and therapy, and this is too bad. Um, I think, you know, individual therapy can be hugely helpful after an affair. It was one of the things that our research showed was most um, helpful for people in speeding up their healing. So it could be great, but a lot of people are scared to do it, and I understand that. Um, Many times people are afraid they're gonna be shamed and judged and beaten up. And so I think it's very important uh, for people who do feel this way to reach out to a therapist beforehand or get a sense of them somehow so that they can know I'm safe when I go in and talk to this person. Great therapists want you to feel comfortable no matter what. We know that we can only help you if you feel safe with us and you don't think that we're going to harm you in any way. So somebody that was really concerned about helping you would be doing what they could to make you feel comfortable. If you really don't want to do um, individual therapy, there are tons of great self-help books you can read. There are also weekend workshops that you can go to that can help if, if you wanna do something kind of different than individual therapy. However, if your partner isn't willing to do anything and they just roll their eyes when you suggest getting help, maybe you start there and say, you know, can you help me understand why you roll your eyes when I bring this up? What is it you're feeling when I'm talking about this? And they might still continue to stonewall you, but you could say, you know, I want us to recover from this. I want us to get to a better place. I don't want this to always be something that haunts us. I'd really like for us to find a way to, at a minimum, talk about it and find some new tools and strategies and get some education about how to heal from this. Are you willing to do anything? And if your partner keeps stonewalling, then say, you know, I don't know that we're going to be able to get over this if we don't do anything differently. Because if we don't change anything, the odds are this is going to happen again. We have to grow from this. We have to talk about this. We have to change somehow so that this doesn't happen again. I really want you to do this with me. If you don't want to do this with me, then I'm going to do therapy for myself to figure out how I can heal from this. And I'm worried that I might heal and you won't, and I won't want to stay in an unhealed situation. So I wish you'd try to work with me on this. Hopefully that gives you some ideas for how to talk to your partner about this. Good luck. I'll be thinking of you.